Like, what's going on? What's happening? I try to be as transparent as possible. I try to tell you all what's on my mind, no matter how bad, you know, it, it gets. You know what I'm saying? And this is another moment that I have to say something that's like extremely horrible. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I thought about it, you know, and I really didn't want to say it because it's really discouraging. You know, and I've said it in the past, but I really do mean it. I really do mean it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to work for Postmates, right? And in the very beginning, this is how, listen, hear me out. I'm going somewhere with this. In the very beginning, Postmates, what they do is they, they, they give you all of these like deals and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like if you go out there, like say for example, you go out there and you do eight, Eight, eight deliveries, right? You get a hundred and something odd dollars. That's how they lure you in, right? So I, that's how I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? In the very beginning that I, I do about eight deliveries. I get about two, three hundred dollar bonuses or whatever have you, right? So, you know, I used to iron my, my, my shirts inside out, creasing and all. I was very professional when I worked for Postmates in the very beginning, right? And then throughout the time, I saw how Postmates treated me. You know what I'm saying? I saw how the customers treated me. I saw how the merchants treated me. And I started to not care. Till eventually, I'm not gonna even lie, this is my word. I started to eat people's food and started, allegedly, I started to take people's food and, 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 and get money, not, not even giving people food and getting money from Postmates and, 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 and not even delivering the food. I just used to just take, take, take. Cause my feelings were hurt. Here it is, I put my all into a company, and then eventually I find out that the company don't, didn't give two shits about me. Well, this is the same way I feel about the black race. Real talk. When I was young, I, I thought the world about black people. I love being black. And then eventually, as I started to see things change, or should I say our race change, we, walked away slowly but surely from knowledge and embrace ignorance i started to see that yo man you know god damn it's, it ain't it ain't cool to be black anymore and now i'm at the point where i just want to give give you give whoever it is who's in charge of the shit give you the black card give you my black card and i'm officially out of the, the race Real talk. Real talk. Hell, I claim my West Indian heritage more so than just being black. And this is the reason why you have uh, uh, foreigners, uh, you know what I'm saying, that, that come, Af you know, people such as Africans, the Caribbean people that come from, you know, other countries that come over here and say that I'm not black. Because the black race as a whole, as a collective, not as an individual, because I know what you all are going to say. Well, I'm doing good. My family's doing this and my family's doing that. And I know this, my, my people that I know that's being successful. Nigga, we not talking about a handful of people. We talking about a collective. And when it comes to, 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 to us as a collective, as a whole, man, we're not doing good at all. At all. We embrace ignorance and stupidity. This is what it's to the point where this is what we want to do for a living. I don't want to say this on, on, on camera, but it's the truth. It used to be a time where Caucasians, non blacks, used to talk pure shit about us and they were wrong because we can honestly say hey man we ain't all like that but now in 2023 going on 2024 i can say that the vast majority are like that and there's a small group of black people that are not ignorant that's not ratchet you know that that, that really want to be productive but every time I go on Instagram, every time I go to social media, all I see is twerking, 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 twerking. 
That's it. And I've came to the conclusion that at the end of the day, we are a defeated race. We have been conquered and defeated. That the last straw, believe it or not, the last hope was our women. And now they niggified our women. I mean, at one point in time, you had a black woman saying, you know, I'm an independent woman. I don't need no, no man and this and that and so forth. And that was horrible. But now you have our, our women, not only are they independent and single now, now they're masculine. They're more masculine than the men of our race. But the powers that be have made it so that now black women don't need a man to be real with you. Like they can freeze their eggs. I've heard quite a few conversations about black women freezing their eggs and going to a sperm bank. For real. This is the reason why they plastered the brat and her so-called wife. I don't even know whether she played a masculine role or feminine. I don't know. But this is the reason why you see them plastered everywhere with their two children. Excuse me, two children. With their, their, their one child. And it's crazy to me. It's crazy. How can you omit the man? But they've been able to do it. Take the man out of the picture. Now females, it used to be a time where there was hardly ever any female rappers. And I'm not saying that females can't, black females, or just females period can't be rappers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that hip hop or rap has always been a masculine sport, game, whatever you want to call it. It's always been that. But now the women are ma more masculine and talk about running up on this person and that person more so than the men are in the music. I looked at this broad, what's her name, Scarlett. Let me tell you something. There used to be a time where there was a process that the artist had to go through. Straight up, called artist development. And in that process, they would work on your image, they would work on your lyrics, if you was a rapper and all the rest of that shit. Now it's just a whatever. Back in the days, Nas had a chipped tooth. If, if, if any one of y'all can rock with me. He said, check the chipped tooth style plus a profile. Wow, he had a chipped tooth. That tooth that you see in his tooth, teeth now, that wasn't how Nas came out. His, his teeth was chipped. They had, through artist development and, 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 and making his image better, they fixed that tooth. Nowadays, artists, rappers could just look, go, go as is. This boy got her lips scarred and her shit is fucked up. And they let her rock and roll like that. Scarlet. A, a, a beautiful black woman. They could at least fix that, but that's part of her image. Matter of fact, she might have been so masculine to the point where she was like, yo, I don't even want it fixed. But you hear the songs that she come out with, and they all masculine. But you know, if you listen to her story, that she's flawed, she got problems. Her parents wasn't there. Her mom's died. She was molested. But see, the record industry takes advantage of that. Whereas we as a black community was so, so, supposed to embrace her and, and, and co comfort her. And tell her, nah, ma, you need to put on a dress, be more feminine. I know that's what she's doing now, but she's showing her ass off. Be more feminine. I remember back in the days, I forgot the proper word for it. I 
forgot the proper word for it, but back in the etiquette, little girls, little black girls were, were taught to, to, you know, uh, what is it, lady etiquette? I don't, I don't know how to put that. I don't know exactly what it was, but you know, they, they used to put a book over your head and the woman had to, had to walk with the book on top of her head. There used to be where, you know, there was dinnerware, where there was uh, forks. You had to work, um, eat with a certain fork and spoon. And I know that that's universal, that, that men and women learned that. But the proper etiquette, that's what it was. You don't see that in the black community anymore, let alone the women. The man of feminine, I can't, no, this is my word. I can't go on YouTube shorts or Instagram shorts without seeing some black man, specifically young black men, with their ass hanging out, twitching, and all the rest of that shit. That's real talk. And for the man that's that's masculine, like such as myself, you know what they call us? That, that we have toxic masculinity. You see, if I wore a pink shirt, right? With a rose in my head, and I was talking with a soft voice, but saying the same message, I bet y'all have like 100,000 if not more subscribers. But being that I, I, I tend to wear all black with a beard. And I said, fuck, fuck cutting the sides and, 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 and get my hair all twisted up. You know what I'm saying? What we called, you know, back in the 90s, fashion locks. Nah, fuck that. I'm being true dread, real dread. Not no free form or none of that bullshit. Real roots dreads. Nah, man, nah. Can't have that. Nope. They don't want... They don't want me to be the face of 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 of, of, uh, of, of black men. Nah, I work out, take care of my children, take care of family, cause that's what it's all about. They don't want that shit. We have been defeated, yo, and that's real talk. That's real spill, man. We don't want nothing, nothing, if it don't have European attached to it. Whether it's cars, clothes, we'll do any and everything for money. Any and everything. You have a grown man wear a dress. A grown ass man wear a dress All for the love of money And it's crazy man It's crazy I didn't want to make this video I mean I've been on a On a run with, 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 with You know talking about blacks I don't like making these type of videos But well, what am I to do What I, Just shut the fuck up so that's something else that they want us to do too. That's the reason why we don't have any teachers. Where, where is this generation's Malcolm X? What, Charleston White? You talking about a man that said on TV, yo, I'm a sellout. I want to sell out. That's what I want to do. That I don't care about black people no more. I kind of get what he's saying because it gets to that point where you trying so much so hard to make a difference in your community and you see people are not that that's being the opposite of that you want to give up but Charleston White has said so many things have done so many things that to the, to the point where he contradicts himself himself all the time and true indeed I contradict myself at times. We all do. But that man is a walking contradiction. You can't go around wearing big gold chains, smoking weed, and doing all of the shit that rappers do, and then talk about you for the community. You see, you're never gonna catch me. 
even though I'm not a community person, you know, like you can't rely on me to, to you know, be some Malcolm X or, or some Charleston White or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, just barbershop talk. Just barbershop talk with me. But see, I've been, I put in my bed years ago and I know just how far to take it when dealing with blacks. So I'm good, I'm good for doing these videos. I'm good maybe if you want me to talk to the children because I know I can reach the children better than I can reach I can reach adults. That's real talk. But at the same time, I'm telling you that I'm not gonna be no, no leader, nothing like that. I can guarantee you this though. You're never gonna catch me at a strip club. You're never gonna catch me smoking. You're never gonna catch me drinking. You're never gonna catch me doing anything that rappers do. You catch me with this in my hand. Cause one thing I will say, if if I have a vice, let's just say if I have a vice, like uh, take for example, if I smoke weed, right? It's bad enough that our children see that all the time on a daily basis, whether it, people, people, guys are smoking or girls are smoking out in the open. Or in videos, live, Instagram live, live on YouTube, it's bad enough that they see that all the time. It gets to the point where you, you, you say to yourself, yo man, I need to show them something different. So yeah, true indeed, I like drinking water, but this also shows something different. And when it starts to get warm again, Hey, I'm, are you going to see me eating fruit? For those that, that, that keep up with my channel, you know, y'all already been with me to host food. I don't know how many times. You, you've seen what I've cooked. I've, I've done videos about what, you know, as far as what I eat. So at the same time, what I'm saying is this. This is what it boils down to. You're not going to hold me up to a status of being a leader. But I'm going to show you something different than what everybody else is showing you in our race. Because we deserve that, specifically the children. So you can't be about that life. Talk about some, I give up on black people and black people ain't this and that and so forth, but yet and still you smoking weed, you drinking, you doing all, you hanging out in the clubs and all the rest of that shit. Straight up. I remember I used to fuck with the hoes. I don't fuck with them anymore. You wanna know why? Because you can't care about black. No, this is real talk. I, I had to check myself. You can't care about black people, right? And fuck hoes. Why? Because you know hoes got low, low self-esteem. You know, you can take advantage of hoes. And the reason why you know you can take advantage of hoes because most of these hoes got a, a pass. Excuse me, either they were molested or their father wasn't there in their lives. So every time you see black people take advantage of other black people, know this, hurt people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. And somewhere down the line, even though I've been through some traumatizing moments and shit like that. Somebody has to put a stop to this shit. Like I can't can participate in all of that shit. I'm hurting just like everybody else. You you want to rob me and I ain't got shit. I ain't got a piss to pot, a, 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 a pot to piss in. I'm just as fucked up as you are. Here we are battling with one another. And I'm going to continue to say this. This is an old saying. This is not anything that, this is something that I, I didn't make this shit up. It's the truth. We never talk about the man behind the curtain. We, ne we, ne we always talk about the puppets. Oh, he ain't nothing but a puppet. He ain't nothing but a puppet. He ain't nothing but a puppet. In the form of a sellout. He ain't nothing but a puppet. He ain't nothing but a puppet. What about the puppeteer that con controls the strings of the puppet? We don't care about that. We don't. We don't. We don't try to make any changes. Now, motherfuckers, is all about getting money. 
That's what it's all about. That's our culture. Get money by any means necessary. Not protect and defend your community. Like Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. No. Get money by any means necessary. Now our slogan is, get rich or die trying. That's what it's about. And do what you got to do, no matter what it is. If you got to show your ass, you got to show your fucking booty hole on your only on the OnlyFans page. And you get money like that, then get it. And at one point in time, black people weren't like that. Now we are. Now this nightmare that uh, us 90s dudes and females used to hear, uh, you know, like, yo, if we don't get it together, this is where we're going in the near future. We were like, man, that man, please. Now the nightmare that we thought wasn't gonna come true, came true. I never thought that I would ever walk, have, have to walk away from hip hop for good. I never thought that I would be inside a mall or a Target. And a woman, a black woman would be in somewhat in distress, not like somebody's trying to harm her, but you know, she's trying to lift up something or put something in a car or something like that. Or I'd be in a Target parking lot or something. And I'm, I'd just be confused. I don't know what to do. Back in the days, I would go out there and help her. But nowadays, it's like you you help her, bro, and she's like, I need your, I don't need your help. You just you just scared because you don't know what what type of a reaction you're gonna get. You don't know. Nowadays, it's difficult. You confused, you don't know, you know, you, you walk past a dude, you know, a black dude, normally you be like, you put your head up, you know, acknowledge him, yo, what's up, man? You acknowledge a man these days, and they thinking you want to poke him in the you-know-what, or, 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 or you want them to poke you in the you-know-what. Because now these him downstairs, you know, them feminine dudes, the zesties, they got all types of same sign language and body languages and shit that you don't even know of because you a heterosexual man. Oh, man, I ain't even lying. You know how they used to be like, like we used to be in the black community, you know what I'm saying? The hoods, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? And, and the dude would be like, man, shh, you better tell your homeboy that's in jail, don't drop the soap. You know, we used to say that all the time. Now I'm not even lying. That's that's my word. I don't even bend over anywhere. Anywhere. I don't I try not to bend over in the gym. If I bend over, I bend to my knees. I've been down. I I've I, I been down all the way down. You don't know these days Cause at the end of the day It's a shame to say But black people have became Just as sick as the melanin Recessive beings That's on this planet It used to be a time When you You, 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 you looking at the news Big mama looking at the news While she washing dishes and they'll be like serial killers out and da 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 Or this person touched this little girl and da 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 And you're like, man, I know it's them melanin recessive people. Nah, not in this day and time. Let's not talk about that. Look at how many of these celebrities, Puff Daddy, and the likes are coming out. You know what I'm saying? We're not being pushed out of how they 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 they, they throw these orgy parties and and be just doing some nasty freaky nasty shit. We are a race that have been defeated. We have. We have, man. And this is shame. Our children are doomed. Matter of fact, Rizzo said it best back in the 90s. The 10 o'clock hole, where the fuck your seeds at? We don't even know where our children at these days, because guess what? They've been picked up. 
We seen him one day and now we don't we don't see him because it's a thing called human trafficking. It's going on in Charlotte and in Atlanta. We don't give a damn about our children. I remember when I ain't have a car. This is real talk. This happened to me in Charlotte like years back when I ain't had no car. I used to have to cross the street to catch the bus. You know, and there were times where, you know, I would I would take my children to Freedom Park and I would have to catch the bus, you know what I'm saying, and, and then cross the street. Once I got to Freedom Park, I had to cross the street over to get to, to go to Freedom Park. And then on the way back, I had to cross the street again. People don't give a fuck if you got kids nowadays. They'll hit you and your kids. And I wasn't even jaywalking. I was really crossing the street the legal way. Just today, you know what I'm saying? I was at Publix and I, I had some sweet potatoes and I put it on this, the scale thing, you know what I'm saying? The self-checkout shit. Okay, true indeed, no lie. The, the, some, I think it was one, because it was a plastic bag, so one and two of the potatoes was like off of the scale. Black man ran up to me and then it went up, it, it came up to like 47 cent. I ain't think too much about it, I just put the shit in the bag. Black man came, ran up on me, boom, boom, boom. Yo, you know you don't supposed to be doing that. I'm like, yo, my bag. But damn, you snitch like that. Motherfuckers quick, black people quick to tell on other black people and and and, and taking heat. I weighed it the right way and it came up to a dollar and like 20 cent. Cause they on sale, the sweet potatoes are on sale. So you, you getting at me for 80 cent, 70 cent or something like that? Difference? We quit to tell on each other, all that shit. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous where we as a black race has gone and are going. It just bugs me out. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see. You know, you got, you got this dude, little Nas X, and I know you, y'all gonna say, oh, that was years ago, whatever. This man was twerking. Listen to this. This boy was twerking on the devil's lap on a video We're done, finito. We're done. Stick a fork in us. Because we are done.